everyone happy new year this is jen welcome back to my channel i've been away from uh, youtube for such a long time and uh, almost more than half a year mainly because i started my new job i've been working really really late really really hard but i do enjoy it so far so i hope that all of you have been doing well uh, firstly, I want to apologize also to the two winners of my giveaway because I had someone else send the parcels out for me and I think they got lost and I have been procrastinating so it's really my fault being lazy and you know working hard and you know getting tired and stuff so I will contact you via email and I'll send out uh, two substitute gifts for what I promised earlier so I hope you don't mind. Um, so okay for today I just want to share with you what I've gotten uh, in the past you know when during the time i've been away from youtube so i won't share every single thing of course but uh, mainly the two bags that i got and also a little uh something small from louis vuitton so the first bag i like to talk about is the saint laurent uh, sac du jour that i got this is the micro size comes with a shoulder strap and it is a pretty small bag as you can see so um i really look So as some of you may know, I uh, used to be a huge fan of pink color but recently I've been really really loving blue shades and I like this bright pop of color. So this is how it looks up close. This is the older uh, version of the Sac de Jour, the original one. I think when Heidi Slimane just designed it. So this is more structured, it has four feet. The newer ones are slouchier which I don't prefer, I actually prefer a more structured look as some of you may guess. So the strap is pretty long, I'm 5'5", five five. so uh, if I wear a single strap on the shoulder, it looks, it hits like, uh, at kind of like below my butt. <laughs> and if I wear crossbody, it's just the perfect uh, length, I think, right here. So, yeah. Uh, what I like about this bag is that, you know, it's obviously it's cute, you know, and it's, um, it looks less serious because of the size as compared to the baby and the uh, medium size. So in the, the inside is lined with a microfiber uh, material and there is a little padlock which says Saint Laurent here with a cute little crochet. And uh, the interior is just uh, an open space with a little slip pocket which has the um, cards, the authenticity card and stuff. And then there's uh, the keys for the uh, padlock, which you know I don't use, of course. And you can also extend the back, the extenders here, and when you unbutton, you no, know, in a jiffy it's useful. But I still think the back looks better when it's buttoned up. So let me show you what can fit into this little bag. Okay, first I have my Chanel cushion, which this is really good. It's the Le Beige cushion. And I'm actually wearing it right now. It's the Healthy Glow Gel Touch Foundation. Uh, okay, I'm using my Antigona right now. So, let's see. Uh, long wallet, you cannot really fit in, especially Emily wallet, which is pretty thick. I think you could probably fit a Josephine wallet comfortably inside. So, yeah, I don't squeeze it in unless I extend the back, which, you know, I don't really want to because I think it's not really pretty that way. You can definitely use a mini pochette if you like. Um, clay, which would be a little wallet in this bag. And of course, wet tissue and some lozenges that I have. And yeah, Uda uh, Beauty liquid lipstick, which I actually quite like. So this is how it looks. And I'm using my XS, my iPhone XS to film right now. So this is my old iPhone 7. So it fits perfectly. No problem into this little bag. So, you know, there's still some space on top. You know, you can probably fit. Uh, yeah, I like to carry Fix Plus mini size so you can fit it in. No problem. So this is how it looks. In terms of security, um, I don't have any problems so far because I try to keep it close to my body and I wear it cross body instead of, uh, you know, shoulder just on the shoulder because I feel that's less secure. So this is uh, my second latest bag that I wanted to share with you. Next is from Valentino. Got this for a great 
steal about 40% off at the Valentino store in uh, Kuala Lumpur. It's in Star Hill Shopping Center because I think they wanted to close for a renovation so they wanted to get rid of their existing stock. And I really, really love this uh, blue color. They had this in black as well, but uh, um, you know, as you know, I'm like into blues recently, feeling really blue, I guess, but happy kind of blue. So um, this is how the bag looks. Single strap worn this way, which I prefer the most. You can wear it double strap, just like the uh, Chanel flat bags. And you can also wear it crossbody, which you know, I, on me, I think it looks a little bit short, but still fine, I guess, if that's what you like, because the size is not too huge. Um, okay, so this bag, it doesn't have feet. So far, it has held up pretty well, despite the light color. And I really like the shiny hardware, the rock studs, and it was quite funny because I had a uh, male co-worker and he was like, wow, your bag looks like it's a weapon as well. So it just cracks me up sometimes, the comments that, you know, guys say. So let's see what can fit inside. So you open it this way. It's a, this is called the glam lock, by the way. So it, it's just lined in uh, fabric. And there is a zipper pocket and two slip pockets, as you can see. So, let's transfer some stuff. Pochette. Phone and clay. Phone. Uh, my Le Beige cushion. The liquid lipstick and Fix Plus lozenges and the wet tissue. So yeah, this bag cannot really fit a lot, which is okay. It kind of encourages me to pack less actually. So this is how the bag looks. I can close it up easily. So far, I don't really see many scratches on this area where uh, you know you need to lock it. I mean, so yeah, I really really like this bag so far. I've been using it non-stop for two three weeks and it's really uh, user-friendly. I think it's light and it looks edgy, uh, adds a touch of edginess to my usually more feminine outfits. So I really like it and it's not like too edgy like you know some bags are probably too edgy for me. I don't know but this goes well with dresses or jeans or you know casual or a work clothes in my opinion. So love this bag a lot. And finally, I just wanted to share with you what I got from um, Louis Vuitton, one of my favorite stores, of course. So uh, this drawer box is so cute. I got a little something. Uh, it's the first time I'm getting, I got costume jewelry from Louis Vuitton. And when I saw this necklace, I was like, wow, I've got to have it, you know. Um, my excuse was that I don't have anything from Louis Vuitton, I mean in terms of costume jewelry, so this, let me show you up close. This is from the Angel collection. You can see there are the, I think uh, the design is like two wings, you know, angelic wings surrounding the LV um, logo right here, and it's in yellow gold. Really love it. So um, this is really like it a lot and um, has little a uh, logo at the end and also another um, LV here I can see it and I think the design is quite intricate I really like the wings so this was my little Christmas present to myself to this video everyone um, and please do subscribe or like this video if you enjoyed it. So uh, yeah, these are just my latest purchases and I hope to see you soon. Um, I do have some more bags on my wish list and I will definitely, uh, hopefully I can get them soon and then I will um, come back with another video. And I'll probably do a comparison of my small bags, this one and my Alma BB to show you what fits. Alma BB actually fits a, a lot for a small little bag. You know, it can actually fit um, the Emily wallet, I think because of the uh, rather wide base. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video everyone and I hope to see you soon and um, Happy New Year again!